Hey guys, how you doing? I've literally just uh, lit the rocket stove. It's about half full of wood, it's mostly rubbishy pallet wood. Just to get a bit of heat in here, a little bit of work to do. Um, and I want to show you something that's been sent to me to try out. So I've been sent these two stove fans to try out on my rocket stove. There's a four bladed fan and a six bladed fan. And the operating temperature range is a maximum of 320 centigrade on these fans, which is about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So as I say, I've just lit the stove and I'm gonna set them up there. See how long they take to spin. The temperature on the stove is there. Uh, it's already gone up to 100 centigrade on the top there. It's not too bad yet, you can still pat it. But um, these things really don't take long to, to start spinning. I often wondered about these, if they actually do anything. They go, the first one's away. I've noticed the other day that the four bladed fan was the first one to start spinning. The six bladed fan kicks in a couple of minutes after that one or a minute or two after that one. The temperature of the back of the stove there, here on this back band, it never gets above sort of 300 degrees. So that they're perfectly fine on the back. And on the back of the stove here, here you go, he started. On the back of the stove here, there's an air outlet. But there's a hollow tube that runs inside the stove on each side. It's hollow, it's open at the bottom and it's open at the top and it's welded in so that the air can move up through the tube and exit the top. Well, there's always tons of heat punching out of this little hole here. I can feel it there. And my idea was that these fans would be great to sit over that that hot air that's coming out of these rather than it just going straight up to the ceiling like all the other heat goes up these fans will blow it sideways across the front of the workshop because although this I don't have a problem with this stove it's fantastic it just takes quite a while to heat the sides of the workshop up because there's so much heat being produced it hits the ceiling and then just hovers around at the ceiling where it's cooler down at the bottom so you can see the fans are already spinning and they're both placed over those hot air outlets. So there's those little outlets and believe me there's probably 200 degrees centigrade of heat coming out of them already. It's really hot air coming out of them. I wish now that I'd put more of these in all along the side of the stove but it was just something to try at the time. So like me you might be wondering how much air do these fans actually push away? How much forces are on these fans? Well, I've put a bit of a tissue on some wire and I'm going to show you. So there's my bit of tissue. The fans aren't actually up to full speed yet uh, because the stove's running about 180 now. So you can see the R pushing air sideways. If I, put the, if I put the tissue there, you can see it's actually pulling the air towards the fan. When you get closer to it, it's pulling air in and then it's throwing it out. Now this, when the fan's spinning at full speed, this tissue has this sort of wiggling effect up to about three or four feet away. But you can actually feel the draft up to two meters away about six foot six away something like that you can actually feel the heat so I'm about four foot away from the stove here with my hand and I can feel it blowing hot air onto my hand that's at four feet and as I say the stove isn't up to temperature yet but yeah they do move air guys they're a nice little fan yeah and I had them I had these running yesterday and it was obvious that this, you know, the other end of my bench where I was working was getting hotter so much faster. On this side is the six bladed fan. And really I can't see a massive amount of difference in the air that's being pushed. I think if anything the four bladed fan is actually a little bit better. That seems to punch a lot more air out. The, air, the, the hot air actually rises so it's coming out of that hole out that tube absolutely screaming hot 
the fan is blowing it away and the hot air is just rising. You can feel it, actually feel it there three feet away, that hot air being blown. And it's coming there, look, can you see it? Yeah, so a really good four foot, but at two metres, two metres away, I can feel the hot air on the hand. So, yeah, that was it. It was just a quick look at these little fans, fellas. Uh, just to see how they perform, you know. I've often wondered about them, if they actually do anything, but yes, they do. They move hot air sideways quite nicely. It's, about, it's probably running about full speed now. The temperature on the top of the stove is about 250 centigrade now. The fire's been lit probably five minutes, just the time I've been doing this video. So yeah, close up, you can definitely feel it as you move further away from the fan, four feet away. As the air is rising, it's still up there, still moving it. So they do do something. So I think if you had a big stove or wood stove in an ingle nook fireplace, they'd be great for blowing the air out into the room out of the ingle nook. Yeah, they do work. Uh, so the I'm not affiliated with this company in any way. I get nothing if you buy one. They've just sent them to me to have a look at them and tell, do a video, tell you what I think. That's what I think. They do work. They push air about two meters sideways and then obviously there's some residual effect after that. But yeah, that's it guys. There is a link in the description box below where you can get one. I think they're on Amazon, but I don't have an, uh, an Amazon affiliation at all. I think they're on Amazon uh, on their page, but you can go and have a look at them, see what you think. They're not the four-bladed fan is not expensive, and to be honest with you, that's the one I'd buy. Well, that's it for now with my two biggest fans. I'm going to do uh, an update on the little hybrid cabin stove, uh, probably this week, next week. Put that out at Christmas. I'm also doing a video on how I make the wood chipper blades. Quite a simple process, but thought I'd chuck it on video while I'm doing it. Thanks to my patrons. Thanks for watching. Give it a, th give it a down. Give it two downs if you want. See you later. Bye for now.